Computer maintenance is vital to protect your system from viruses, malware, and hardware failures. So how can you keep yourself protected? Thor Shrock is here to compute this. Welcome back, Thor. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me. I did, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, my back hurts a little bit today, but that can't, can't stop me. Can't stop Nothing us today. Can stop you. Oh, underneath here, the sleeves are rolled up. I'm on jeans today, no slacks, because yeah. we, we got work to do. We yeah, well, yeah, today. Monday morning, yeah. it's time to grind, right? <laughs> this is some uh, important stuff. It, well, no, yeah, it is. This really is. You talk about you know, people going to the doctor, maintain their health. You got your cars, you know, you get your car to the shop and do those regular maintenance. Computers are no different. Why is it important to stay up on your regular maintenance on your computers? Well, I mean, we've done segments in the past. Now, this one might be new to you, though. So okay. I'm gonna, uh, for, the, for everybody who's new to the program, I'm going to go back to I the beginning. Take notes here. Computer maintenance, you need to do it every six months. And that's not us recommending. That's pretty much every industry leading magazine, everything else, six months of, uh, of time between maintenance. Now, the reason for that primarily is physical. Because when you have a laptop, and we all use them on our laps or bedspread or a pillow or the arm of the couch or whatever, it pulls air in from the bottom and shoots it out the side to cool it. Even your Mac does that. Hmm. And what happens is when you use it on a soft surface, just like your dryer, when you have to, if you, what happens if you don't mm -hmm. clean that lint filter in your dryer? Yeah, it clogs yeah. up. Yeah, it clogs up, starts, it catches well. on fire, or your clothes don't get dry. That's like the, the, the mm -hmm. least, you know, my clothes stop getting dry. What the heck? It's, yeah, it's on fire, <laughs> but they'll dry faster. Yeah. Um, but basically, if you don't clean that gunk out of there, what happens is it damages the cooling system in your laptop, and that's not something that can be like, you, if you realize it's happening and then blow it out, mm -hmm. it doesn't fix it. It's, it's damaged. You have to replace hardware then. So especially on laptops, it's incredibly important. But the thing that we're seeing uh, more often than not right now, the reason we launched this a little bit earlier than we did last year is because of all the storms that rolled through. Uh, we are seeing tons and tons and tons of electrical damage to computers. People don't even realize their computers mm -hmm. are damaged. So for example, we had one on our bench in Lincoln where the computer it turned on, it booted, everything seemed to be working fine. We test the power supply and to get super technical for the engineers among us, um, the, the power supply was undervolting the motherboard. It's supposed mm -hmm. to get 12 volts, it was getting 7.1. Well, whenever you undervolt sensitive electronics like the stuff in computers, or if you're charging your iPhone or your iPad or something off the computer, that undervolting can actually damage those sensitive electronics. So by not knowing you have a power supply that's failing, you're actually destroying your entire computer. So instead of what's actually a really inexpensive fix, mm -hmm. you end up having to replace the whole system and then you mm -hmm. have you lost data, then you're in data recovery. So from a, from a purely like, why should I do this perspective? Um, you're gonna save yourself a boatload of money doing preventative maintenance. And you know, I'm supposed to go to the dentist every six months. Mm -hmm. It's been eight months since I've been to the dentist for a cleaning, so yeah, I gotta go back, and mm -hmm. I know I missed the last one, I got busy, whatever, so I'll make it up, whatever. So, you know, we're all human, we all have things going on. You know, maybe it's been, you know, more than six months. Maybe you don't remember the last time you had a maintenance check, or maybe you've never had a maintenance check. Have you ever had a I maintenance check? I was just check? gonna say, so I, <laughs> it's been three and a half years since I got my Mac, and it cost me after taxes probably $1,100. Mm -hmm. So, the fact that I've never gotten a simple preventative maintenance done, and that thing, I mean, if that thing went out, I can't afford another one right now. So yeah, well, it's, it's, it's expensive, necessary. yeah. Mm -hmm. And with Macs, Macs actually will uh, mask failures for as long as possible. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's all, it's all consumer-friendly, user-friendly. That's where there's not a ton of utility. You don't, you don't go out and find, like, yeah. clean it up and fix it utilities for Mac mm -hmm. that just don't exist. Because they just gloss everything over. PCs will sometimes pop a warning, but, like, the major manufacturers, HP and Dell, have learned from Apple's model, where now they say, well, if the hard drive's failing, the customer doesn't want to know that, especially mm -hmm. if they're in their warranty period. Mm -hmm. We don't want to tell them that. Mm -hmm. Wait till they're out of their warranty period and they lose all their data, and then, then they can go spend two grand on a data recovery. That, yeah. That's where it gets really bad. So you, with a preventative maintenance checkup mm -hmm. with you at Schrock, what can you do to help? Gotcha. All right, so if you imagine that you were doing preventative maintenance on your Mac and you were going to do everything that you could think to do, you were going to wipe it down, you were going to blow it out, you were going to clean up all your files that didn't need to be in there, how much time do you think it would take you to do that? A while. Hours. How many? <laughs> I don't know. Six, yes. Sixteen. Okay, well, we're a little, <laughs> we're a little more efficient <laughs> than that. Two business days. Yeah, <laughs> we're a little more efficient than that. We have, uh, we have, it takes about eight hours to do a full maintenance check, and primarily that's because we're testing the hard drive and the memory, and those tests have to be run separately. They can't be run at the same time, and they each take a lot of time. So we're going to go through and spend about eight hours on your computer during a preventative maintenance check, and when we put them on special, like we have right now, they're half off, so they're $45. Mm -hmm. So 
try to go feed your family for, of four at Taco Bell for forty-five dollars anymore. It used to be Taco Bell was cheap. What happened? Yeah, but uh, but they're on special right now. Well, at you Trunk. get fifteen tacos. That's what happened. Uh, Fifty percent <laughs> off for a limited time. Not just you, but everybody goes to Taco Bell. I, I, I order a whole sack of tacos. I don't, I don't go to Taco Bell. Uh, it's only forty. Oh, I love Taco Bell. Uh, Forty-five bucks. Schrock's Innovation is going to clean it, maintain, test the system. Schrockinnovation.com. How long can people expect from the time you pick up your computer? Take it into your shop to the time you get it back on the desk at home. How long is it going to take? Right. You guys are one of the first people hearing about the sale right now. So right now the service centers are, are doing well. The Lincoln Service Center is in queue. Omaha and Papillion are not in queue at the moment. I did a little live thing from mm -hmm. uh, Papillion. We got them out of queue this morning. What does that mean? Queue for? means the bench is full. Okay. And there's computers and waiting, waiting yeah. to go on the bench. Okay. Uh, which it lengthens the turnaround time. Right now you're looking at a one to two business days. Mm -hmm. Which that will bad. change by tomorrow, though. Right. Yeah, because you're I'm just announcing this. I'm going to be coming in. I need to awesome. do that. Awesome. And if you can't get in today because you're busy and you yeah. don't have 16 hours, mm -hmm. um, you can buy a certificate on our website at truckinnovations.com. Can you? Okay, great. Well, real quick question. I got a question for you. I got two, I got two iMacs, uh, okay. both. Uh, one's a little bit older, one's newer. One of them, the newest one, is actually performing a lot slower than the older one. So something's going on with that. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I mean, could that just be a maintenance issue? It could be. That's one of the things. When you have an old, the older ones tend to slow down because they run out of memory. All these new OS 10 updates, they, it runs them out of memory. Yeah, but my new one's got plenty of but memory. Your, yeah. Well, your new one has plenty of memory and it's running slower than the old one. That, yeah. to me, says there might be a hard drive issue going on. That we want to we want to dig that maintenance quickly. Thanks for breaking the bad news on a Monday morning. Hey, no luck. sweat. We're, that's, what we, that's what we do. Shrockinnovations.com, <laughs> that's the website. 50% off these preventative maintenance checkups for a limited time only. Only 45 bucks. Schrockinnovations.com. Give them a call. There's three service centers, Village Point, Papillion, and that one in Lincoln as well. And like you said, you can get the certificate online if you can't Absolutely. make it into a store right away. And it's good away. for six it's months. Great. So you can oh, ride good. the wave out until mm. like we're slower so again, yeah. and then yes. you can bring it back in so you don't have to go two or three days without your computer. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, we know